I'm Valerie. Welcome to my Vernicor home, my design studio and store located in Hastings Highlands, Ontario, Canada. Now here we offer full scale interior decorating services including custom sewing. We sell handcrafted home accessories and vintage wares. So today, what I want to do is share with you a tip that I use to incorporate pleats in uh, soft furnishings whenever I am working with heavy fabrics. Now here I am making a slip cover for my client and uh, I wanted to add a pleating detail in the middle of the front of the slip cover skirt. So instead of trying to fold away to create that pleat which would become very bulky, this is what I do. And this is what I do whenever I'm working with heavy fabrics, whether I'm making slip covers or bed skirts, I use this strip and this is what I do okay for example here I'm making I, I'm putting the pleat in the front the middle front what I do is to decide the width of the panel for the complete front and then I add increments for the seams and the flat stitching at the front and then I cut the one panel into two panels. If I were to add three pleats, I would have to cut that one panel into four pieces, four equal pieces. However, I would have to make sure I add more in order to get all the extra flat stitching. Okay, so here I have one pleat in the front and center of the skirt. This is what I do. As I said, I cut the one piece into two pieces. I flat stitch the leading edges. Then I cut a smaller piece, flat stitch both edges. I put the smaller piece at the bottom and then I butt the larger panels together on top of the smaller piece just to create that kick pleat inver inverted pleat look okay so I have some smaller pieces here just to show you what I do so here is my smaller center piece that's under here and these two pieces are acting as the two larger panels okay so both edges are flat stitched the leading edges of these two pieces are flat stitched so what I do next is just butt them up in the middle on top of the smaller piece then I secure them together with pins and take them to my sewing machine then I stitch across the top here so that I secure all three pieces together and then that will give you your kick pleat inverted pleat look okay now if we wanted to do box pleat instead of putting that smaller piece under what we would do then is put the smaller piece on a top to give that box pleat effect so these the smaller pieces or butt them up together the leading edges that are flat stitched and I put the smaller piece on top secure all three pieces together with pins then take them to my sewing machine and actually stitch across the top so now they're together you get that box pleat effect now we know that the box pleat is actually literally the opposite of the inverted or the kick pleat 
okay so this is what I do whenever I am incorporating pleats and I have to work with heavy fabrics that can become very bulky hope this tip helps until next time please hit the notification button subscribe and tell somebody about my channel keep pleating and see you again in Friend Studios soon.